All right, so let's talk about when passing the open guard and our partner's on their back, right? And they're keeping these two frames underneath their thighs. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So let's say Dante's on his back here and he has these two frames here where basically what he's doing, he's grabbing his knees and thighs and keeping his elbows as post here. So now it makes it a little bit harder for me on top as the guard passer to smash his legs down to one side here. Do you guys see that? It's very difficult now. So from here, my goal is to look for my HQ. Get one leg in, one leg out. So if I keep trying to run around to the outside and try to smash the legs down together, as you guys can see, it's tough, it's not easy. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna look to get the foot underneath our hips here. So even with that being said, I have to address it to make sure he doesn't pull the leg out from underneath me. So for example, if I step in, I don't want Dante to swim this leg back out and bring it right back to my hip or onto my bicep. So when I step in here, first things first, we have our Lego man grips here, mid shin. As I step in, I drop down and I close the space off by grabbing inside of his thigh with my right hand and closing my elbow in tight, like this here. So now if Dante tries to pull his left leg out, try to get that left foot out, it's hard for him to do it. Where if I do not have this here, let's say I'm just here, he can slip that foot back out and put it back on my hip. So again, one more time. Control mid shin here, I step, and as I step here, we press the legs out to the side, and I keep everything in tight here. Now from here, as you see, I position my chest around the outside of his left leg. Now I'm driving in. As I drive in, he's gonna drive back, right? That's, what, that's the whole goal of these posts here. So as I drive in, there's this big open space here between the arm and his body. I'm gonna make a shallow underhook here and grab his armpit slash shoulder blade. Now as he goes to press back, I post and I whip right into my knee slice here. But when I post here, I'm gonna post high above his shoulder. So this way my weight goes over. I'm trying to bypass all this stuff he's doing down here, right? I come up high. As I come up high, what I want you guys to do now is pull him onto the side even further. So see how I keep him on his side? Now all those posts that he was making before, they go out the window. From here, I can cross face, go to my half guard smash. I already have my knee slice already set up. Kick through, pass right to my side control. So again, he's here, he's got those frames in his where if I try to press down to one side or the other, it's hard to do that. We grab mid shin, I step, and I grab inside of his thigh here. So when I grab here, look how I pull his leg out here to keep his hook angled in that direction here. He needs his foot pointing out this way to pull it back out to get back to the open guard. So from here, I close it off. Now I can keep my chest around the outside of his left leg. I lean in, I post. When I post here, look, I dig my hand underneath his back. Now, I will say this here. When you get this first hand underneath his arm, there's not much space behind his back here. But when you post and drive off, that space is gonna open up. Now I pull him onto his side here. Once I pull him onto his side here, I already have my knee cutting through. With the knee already cutting through, we cross face, we underhook, pull him in, shoulder pressure, make him look away, kick free, right to our side control.